Hi everyone, my name is Mickey Sochiro and I'm a secondary school teacher. Today I'm going to be briefly discussing and showing you how to use Quia in the classroom. So the first thing you want to do is open up a web browser. I'm going to be using Firefox today. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the web address bar and type in QUIA.com. It's going to take you to this web page right here. Quia has three different tools that it allow that you can look at. The first is Quia Books, which is going to look at workbooks and textbooks that you can use inside the classroom. So this is something that helps cut back on the cost of actual books. The next thing is the IXL. This is perfect for math and language art teachers because it allows you to take what you're learning in class and actually practice for those two subject matters. But what we're going to be focusing on today is going to be Quia Web. So you want to come to visit Quia Web click on it and it's going to take you to their home page. Now Quia is not a free tool for everybody. If you're an educator it is going to cost $49 per year. However if you do get together with teachers in your school or in the area and you buy it together it, you will get a discount on it if you have over a certain amount of teachers. But if you just want to check it out you can always get the free 30 day trial. So I'm signed in otherwise you're going to have to put a username and password to log in. So you're going to enter Quia. Now, Quia has a variety of options. This is my home page and my profile. You can add pictures and school information to kind of sp specify what you teach and what you make. Right. So as you can see, you can make your classes. Now, I already have four classes made right here as just examples. Uh, so if you click on one, it's going to take you to your class web page. Now, this is a very brief basic page that you can do. I did not add anything in here yet. But the way you can set it up is you can decide on what colors you want, background colors, font colors, font types, sizes, etc. All of those things and you can add it in here. Now you can add your picture, your class picture, and you can have your email so that students can easily email you. All they have to do is go to your class web page. Now if you come back here uh, you can see that it's not just web pages that you can make. Right. You can actually, which I think this is the best part of Quia, you can make activities, quizzes, and surveys for each specific class. So the variety of activities that they have vary among all different things. As you can see, flashcards, matching, concentration, word searches. If you click the drop bar, it has battleship, challenge board, clothes, columns, hangman, all different variety of things that you can use in the classroom. So if you come to hangman, we'll just look at this one. Hit go. Oops. You type in whatever you want. So, spelling lesson. You can put a description in, and then you can put words in. So, dog. Wolf. You can put hints in to help the students, depending on the level and age that they're at. You can add as many as you need. You can actually change it so it's not just a hangman, but it could be balloons, it could be stars, variety of things. You can also actually put it in different languages. It then takes you to this page where you give, you're given the URL for this specific activity, and you can actually play it and give it to certain students if you want to give it just to them to work on things. And you can come here, and you could try and play hangman so the students can have a fun way of learning without them really even realizing that they're practicing the skills that they know. The next thing you do is quizzes. You come here create a new quiz and you can put the description, the class, and you are allowed to add up to 20 questions. You can do multiple choice, true, false, pop up a variety of different types of answers and this way you can do all of your quizzing and assessing online. And also, you're, you can also do surveys to maybe learn about students' learning types. You can use them in a variety of different ways in each classroom. Again, you can specifically make whatever color you would like to make, kind of individualize it. Uh, you also have calendars that you can put due dates on. So essentially, Quia is a tool that can be used in any subject matter for almost any form of assessment and activities that can benefit your students in a variety of different ways. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you go to QUIA.com and check out Quia and all the fantastic tools that it has to offer you.